Hi guys, so this is Shiva Reddy. Welcome to Core Java Tutorials. In this session, I am going to explain whoop concept in Java. So, let us go ahead and start. The first uh, uh, whoops concept is object. So, object is an entity which has state and behavior. So, it might be a logical entity or the physical entity, but when you are talking about an entity, it must be existing in the real world like let us consider take a uh, bank account as an entity then you can see for the bank account we have a some states I, that is nothing but it has a account number and account name address of uh, for that account and uh, if you want to talk about the behaviors for the bank account you can deposit some amount and you can withdraw amount so this we will call as a behaviors so er, any entity which has state and behavior it is called as an object so bank is an one entity employee class we can take as a one entity and uh, another one we can call, call as a car car if you take as a entity then you can see uh, the properties or the states like color size weight and height these are the uh, state of an uh, uh, states representing the car and uh, um, speed and gear changing the gear and accelerate so these are we consider as a uh, proper uh, these are considered a behavior for the uh, car so object is an entity which has state and behavior and in the case of uh, now let us talk about the class class is a logical entity which is going to which is the which is a blueprint of uh, blueprint or what we can say a, a blueprint as a prototype from where you are going to create an object in the case of java the class we will call as a logical entity from the class uh, the blue class we are considering as a blueprint uh, from there actually we are going to create an object hence so um, object is an instance of a class is nothing but the object uh, and also we can consider as a group of objects are produced from the class or a prototype or a blueprint so that is what it meant by class so whenever you say car then it basically um, at high level everybody can know that it has a few properties and it has a some behaviors so class by default provide you how the car looks like and uh, when you create an object that actually comes into the existence okay so that is meant by class and abstraction abstraction is going to uh, hide the implementation details and it is going to provide you uh, provide you the functionality so abstraction you can achieve through abstract class or interface in java what it means is when you say bank bank account everybody knows that there is a some withdrawal is happening and deposit is going to happen but internally how it is going to happen people may not aware of it so that is called an abstraction and then encapsulation encapsulation is binding the properties and methods as a single unit is called as an encapsulation when you create a java bean or the class with uh, uh, access specifier private as a uh, member variables then outer side it cannot uh, access from the outer side so by whenever you create a class with the uh, member variables as a private access uh, with the private access specifier then it is going to provide the security and uh, that is called as an encapsulation and next one is the polymorphism polymorphism is performing a single task uh, exhibiting different functionality what i mean to say with the same name we are going to uh, we are going to exhibit a different functionalities that is called as an uh, polymorphism so what it means is when you take a uh, whenever you are working with a uh, finding the area then the name is going to be the same for uh, different uh, um, different areas if you want to find for example if i want to find a 
um, area of the triangle then the parameter is going to be different and when I want to find a area of a square then I need to pass a different parameters if I want to find an area of an uh, square at the rectangle then it is the number of parameters we are going to pass is different but all these things actually what it is doing is it is just it is just uh, producing the result as a area that means uh, in Java it is possible that same method name can exhibit the different functionalities based on the number of the arguments or based on the different data types or it is based on the um, based on the number of parameters we are uh, ideally we are going to pass okay and uh, even this is possible uh, based on the written type also is possible from the Java uh, later uh, versions of the Java so but at a high level encapsulation is uh, sorry some polymorphism is going to exhibit single method name or the name with multiple functionalities it is called as an polymorphism and then inheritance inheritance is a concept where acquiring the properties of one of ob one object from another object is called as an inheritance so the main advantage of inheritance is, is the is going to be the code reusability by using the inheritance if any already uh, existing functionality is there and then you you can use the existing functionality and then you can continue with your own code for the um, later versions of your code so inheritance really going to help the developer to reduce the development cost and also we can uh, re reusability of the code is comes into the picture so these are the uh, these are the uh, basic uh, whoops concept available in Java in the next uh, couple of tutorials I am going to take a one concept as a uh, one concept and I will try to explain those things with an real-time examples hope this concept is clear if you have any questions comment on my YouTube video thanks for watching and also if you have really like that my uh, like my video hit on the like and also uh, subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel so that you will be received the updated uh, tutorials on Java technology.